What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am going to do a video for you guys that I promised I would do a while ago in my nail desk tour video. So if you guys remember, I showed you guys my picture taking setup. So the way that I take my nail pictures, I made my own light box and a lot of you guys wanted to know how to do it. So I promised that I would make one for you. I recently got an awesome giant box perfect for making a light box so today I'm going to show you guys it's so easy and then once you do you can take really professional looking photos so today I'm going to show you how to do that so yeah stay tuned okay so for this project you're going to need only three things thing number one is of course a box it should be square you don't want to use a rectangular box because then the lighting that you're putting into the light box won't be even so big square box I would say at least 10 inches by 10 inches and it might take a little bit of trial and error I've made so many light boxes the next thing that you're going to need is white tissue paper and you can buy this for really cheap it's used for like wrapping gifts and stuff you're not going to need too much you just want enough to be able to cover three sides of the box make sure it's not another color if you use another color then then it will not show true color when you're taking pictures of your nails. And the third thing that you're going to need is a box cutter. These are very dangerous, they're very sharp. If you don't feel comfortable using a box cutter, ask a parent to do it for you. I actually feel like maybe my first five light boxes, and yes, I know I've made a lot more than you have to, but I've you know, moved around a lot and had different spaces and wanted to try out different size boxes. Yeah, so like my first five boxes, my mom made it for me. So I just went over the lines with her and then she used a box cutter and she cut them out for me. So thanks mom, love you. But yeah, so now I'm comfortable using it. But like I said, they are really sharp, they're dangerous. You could hurt yourself. So don't use it unless you feel absolutely comfortable. Some optional things that you can do. And like I said, I've done this so many times. So I really don't need to measure it. I actually don't even own a ruler. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is basically just do some guesswork, but if you want, you can use a ruler to measure it and make sure it's absolutely perfect. Also, I operate under the belief that something doesn't need to be pretty to be functional, so I usually just keep it in regular box form, so it's usually just a big brown box with some tissue paper over it. If you guys want to make it pretty, you can always decorate the outside. I would not recommend decorating the inside because that, again, will shine different colors onto your nail polish photo, and then it might not be true to color. So what you can do, you can get some washi tape, you can design the outside, have fun with it. I'm not going to do that because I don't think it's really necessary. I'm just going to do a close up on the floor for this because I think that might be easier. Okay, so here's me on the floor in my pajama pants and I've got my box and my box cutter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking the panels off of three of the sides. So then I'm just going to measure with my fingers. You can use a ruler for this. I'm just gonna figure out where an inch is and I'm gonna cut out a box an inch in on all sides. And once I've scored it, I'm gonna go back over it and I'm going to cut that box out of the side. And now I'm just going to do that on the other sides. Of course, we're not gonna do the bottom because no light is going to be showing through on the bottom. So like I said, I'm just going to score it. So I'm gonna draw out with the box cutter where the line should be. And then I'm gonna go over it a second time to actually cut it out. And as you go on, you're gonna find that each side gets a little bit flimsier. So you're gonna wanna be more careful as you go to the second and third sides. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to take my tissue paper and I'm gonna cover all of the open sides. And if you guys want, you can measure this out or be neat. I do not feel the need to do that because like I said, this is just functional. It doesn't have to be pretty, nobody's gonna see it. And I'm just gonna tape down the sides. So really, you're just cutting out the tissue paper just enough to fill the open sides and then you're gonna tape it down so it is tight. So what the tissue paper does is it diffuses the light that you're shining through it and it just makes everything look softer and a little bit more professional. And it's gonna take some trial and error. You might wanna do two lamps or three lamps or however many lamps and I figured out a way that works for me and I love it. And once everything is completely taped down, you're pretty much done. All you need is a couple of pieces of printer paper and that'll just create a seamless white background for your nail polish photos. And that's actually it. I know it doesn't really look like much right now because it's sort of just a really sloppy box <laughs> with tissue paper taped over it. So now I'll just show you what it looks like when I'm taking my pictures. 
Okay, so this is my current light box. This is not the one I just made, but it's basically the same thing. And as you can see, I have three different lamps. One of them is shining over, and then I've got two coming in on the sides. So the way my setup is, is I actually have both indirect and direct light. Most of the time people do completely indirect light because it just gives a softer photo. But just for me, because I am in a darker corner of my apartment, I needed to have a little bit of direct light. So as you can see, I just turn on the lights, I stick my hand in there, and then I can take my pictures and it's totally color accurate and the lighting is nice and soft. So here's a quick photo showing you a comparison between direct lighting and a photo in my light box. So the one on the left is direct lighting and you can see that the color is really washed out. My skin looks pretty terrible and there's some really harsh shadows. But on the light box side, you can see that the light is distributed a lot more evenly. My skin looks a lot better and more hydrated, even though I didn't do anything in between taking these two photos except moving my hand. I have the same amount of lotion on it, the same polish, everything is completely the same. The only difference is that in the light box, you're in a controlled environment and you control how much light goes in there and all the light bounces off of the walls and it just looks really nice and diffused. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Definitely send me some pictures if you guys decide to decorate your light boxes. I'd love to see. And let me know in the comments what other types of videos you want to see. I'm hoping to film a lot more interactive videos where I'm teaching you things like this. So yeah, definitely stay tuned. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more nail art. We'll see you guys later.